All right, Uma, we'll be looking forward to that. Meanwhile, we have some news out of Afghanistan. Three U.S. soldiers have been wounded in another so-called green on blue attack. That after we're told an Afghan soldier opened fire inside a base before being shot dead. Kitty Logan is live in London with the very latest. You know, Kitty, these uh, type of inside incidents have just happened uh, far too often. That's right, Eric. This is certainly not the first time this type of so-called insider attack has happened in Afghanistan. Details are sketchy so far. We know it happened around 3 o'clock in the afternoon local time. Those injured soldiers are receiving medical care. Now, according to the NATO-led mission in Afghanistan, the incident happened at the Camp Shoran base in Helmand province in the southwest of the country. That attack, similar, as you say, to many previous so-called insider attacks, which have killed several NATO soldiers, including U.S. troops in recent years. Improved security has reduced these type of attacks, but the Afghan army says its soldier did not fire on purpose today. But historically, these type of attacks have typically been carried out by Afghan police or soldiers, the Taliban claiming responsibility quite often for these, saying it's infiltrated the Afghan security services. But no claim yet on this particular attack. The most recent similar attack was last October. Two Americans killed then at a military base. Now, Eric, there are around uh, 8,400 U.S. troops in Afghanistan currently, many in advisory or training roles. There has been a debate about possibly raising those numbers because of the increased instability we're seeing in that country. We understand U.S. Marines are set to deploy in Helmand province very soon. Of course, that conflict there in Afghanistan, far from over, a complicating factor of ISIS now in certain parts of the country too, Eric. All right, Kitty, thank you so much. And of course, the paintings behind me, painted by President George W. Bush, a constant reminder of the sacrifice and what those who are in harm's way for a country uh, go through. Kitty, thank you.